all right hello everyone all right this is a quick um, video on how to demonstrate the use of my cgpa calculator so the first thing you have to do is to key in the number of courses you want to calculate uh, if you intend to calculate um, five courses four courses three courses 10 20 30 you have to first of all key it in here so here i'm going to put in four courses okay after keying four courses it will generate a space for four courses for me so this is the first course course code if i like i can put csc csc um 212 say and i may also decide not to put anything to save my time since i'm not presenting this to anybody just for you to know your status regarding your cgp so if i see csc 212 Let's say, for example, that I have a B in CSC212. I click on B. And then the cost unit is two units. I'll type it in here. All right. So the next thing now is the second cost. The second cost, I'm not going to, I'm going to save some time. So I'm not going to put in the cost code here. So I'll just go straight away to the second cost. Have a C there. Don't mind me. I'm a bit more brilliant than what I'm giving myself. So that's a C. Uh, and then the cost unit is free. I'm going to retain that as three. So the third one is A, and the cost unit here, let's say it's one. Okay. So and the fifth, the fourth cost, it's um, A, and the cost unit is free. I'm going to leave it as it is. So if you look at this, you can click on calculate CGPA, uh, and there you go. The CGPA here is 4.11. Let's take for example that high is called um, where I have killing that I have uh, the cost unit is two is one here. Let me change it to two and let's see what will happen over there again. It's going to calculate at three time, 4.2 straight away. Let me also change another one. Uh, maybe this, let me score by 7B here. And let's see what will happen uh, with the rest. It's 4.5. Uh, so this is as simple as this. This is what you have to do when you are using this CGPA calculator. So this is a summary of what you have just done. If you look at the all the focuses here, CSA 212. The grade is B and the cost unit is as, as stated. And the second cost is also graded B and the cost unit is as stated free and so and so forth. So if you look at the description section of this video, the link to this calculator, CGPA calculator, it's also posted there. So you can click on that to link to the calculator and you are free to use that. It's why we are aware that the this is limited to 5.0 scale grading scale alone for now we are aware that there are 7.0 scale which they normally use for medical sciences and also university of Ibadan and some of few other places um, so we're still coming to cover that later and then we also are aware that some people are also using 4.0 scale grading scale but this is what we have now so we're going to leverage on this and then uh, thereafter build more on that the first thing i said i'm going to recap is to quickly type in the number of courses you intend to calculate. If you intend to calculate five courses, 10 courses, 20 courses, 30 courses, from the beginning, you just have to key it in the number of courses and it will create the spaces for you that you're going to use to calculate the each, uh, grade, each course. You put the grade where you can choose the grade and then choose the cost units. And there you go, at the, at the given point, uh, straight away, without wasting time, the calculator is going to generate the CGPA for you. So, if this is your first time of coming to our YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button. Do that now. Cheers.